it, uh, you know, it, it, it would be beautiful, man, to really take some of some of these young guys, man, from all over the door, different neighborhoods and stuff like that, and, and to be able to polish up a, a, a couple of them from all the other neighborhoods, from all the neighborhoods, can see that they men from their neighborhood, they didn't got polished up, and look how they moving now. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Man. And so it makes me get it kind of bring, you know, the DMV back to what it's supposed to be. Because yeah. now you got the dudes, they our little homies and shit, they see somebody on Instagram, man, you trying to dress like a dude from Atlanta. You trying to talk like a dude from New Orleans. You trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when we start doing that. Right. And these niggas got DC dude, well, motherfucking grills in our mouth and all that ain't what we do. I ain't not gonna do that, do that. Right. That's a Houston thing going down south thing. That's cool. That's what it was. That's yeah. how you know a dude was from Houston. They okay. see dudes, they used to see us out in Vegas, D.C., we had all the Versace shit on, they black girl asked me one time, she said, you from D.C. or you from Philly? I said, what, what? I said, what make you say that? She said, because you got Versace everything on. So you either from D.C. or you from Philadelphia. I said, I'm from D.C. She <laughs> said, I knew it. Yeah, she and called. This, is one, this was the identity. You understand? Because the D.C. dude was fly, he was fly, he was, I'm talking about, man, you could hear about the most dangerous dude in the world out of D.C. And then you see me cold-blooded pretty boy. My Tony Fortune, you know what I'm saying, dude that grew up out of paradise and then ended up, you know, hanging around, being around Clay Turns, everybody knew him, you know what I mean, or whatever. And the dude was like, you know what I mean, it was like a gorilla. But, you know what I mean, when you keep hearing his name, you keep hearing his name, you keep thinking the guy is like, you know what I mean, then you see this guy, this guy, pretty boy, light-skinned dude, curly hair, I'm like, this is the guy? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But I mean, he was still really that guy. But this was the DC culture. You right. may hear about some guys, you see him in, 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 in a party. And that's the dude, Michael Jackson. That's the guy, so and so. You hear these guys' names, you know, these guys be, man, they dangerous. You see them, these dudes are so fly, they so smooth, head cut, they clothes fly, ladies, man. That was the D.C. culture. Right, Snip, right. You see what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't do no, no, you can't come around a neighborhood and be, be dirty and looking crazy like that. Ain't That ain't our culture. I'm talking about from the guys that ain't even got no car. Guy ain't got no car. Right. But he got a nice, no fresh clean, fresh new, fresh new shoes, fresh haircut. He out there on the block. Everybody in the neighborhood are like that little girls. They got a little feet on tennis outfits on, different little stuff, going to get their hair done. That's our culture. Right, so. That was always a DC culture. Yeah. And so, you know what I mean? This is when we used to go to the fights back in the day. This is where you see guys, and just like our Snoopy used to wear the Shirley Temple girl, that was like LA and Oakland. You see a lot of Oakland guys used to have their hair permed out like that. You see Chicago guys dressed in a certain kind of way, Detroit guys dressed in a certain kind of way. New York guys had the jewelry, but the real big jewelry, they used to call it big truck jewelry. Yeah, truck jewelry, right. Big ass diamonds that real big. A guy from DC may have a small on my diamond, but it's neat, but it's clean, but it's expensive. You right. know what I mean? Right. He ain't gonna just have some, a big ass joint like a dinner plate around his neck, he ain't gonna do that. Right. That, that, that wasn't my style, that was their style. Right. And that was cool because that was their thing. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, respect. So they were able to identify guys because that's what they did. All the little guys dressed a certain kind of way, you know, had little stuff, you know what I mean? So this is what it was. Now it's just like the internet got these guys. It's like you see somebody else do something, they see uh, Future have blonde dreads. Now you got some other little dude, even Wild Place, but he got blonde dreads because Future, Future from Georgia. Right, no question. You mean because that's that's the culture that we came up in. You know what I'm saying? When we was young, we watched all the guys. They drive to Atlantic City. They come back from Atlantic City. They got the old Gucci sweatsuits on, high top Gucci's, low top Gucci's. They're, this was this was our culture. But not to not to say that the brands. I'm just saying that people should be you know chasing late. Right, you know, right, I'm right, right. I that. get it. But I'm just saying whatever dude was doing. If he got a champion sweatsuit, a champion sweatsuit, new, neat, clean. Fresh, fresh head cut, you know what I mean? Whatever the case may be. That, yeah. that was our culture. That's the DC culture. A bunch of dirty dudes up in no go go's going to see no RE back in the day. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, was, that was our culture. The girls was fly, they got the little head dudes, 
little, you know, bamboo earrings. Some of them got little diamonds in it with the dude name, and that's where dudes got the cars clean. You know what I mean? BBS is on the BMW, on the 300 ZX, and this was our culture. Right, right. Yeah, you, 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 they, they robbed the girls with pocketbooks now. Like, come on. You did some shit like that back in the day, you couldn't even come back around the neighborhood. Right. Because they're going to look at you like you just a wild dude, like, what the fuck is you? What? You bought some of them for a purse. Yeah, man, they're trying to sell a purse. Like, they're looking like you anything. Like, you said, fuck. Like, this is.